Hello, good morning you guys. Uh, it's been a while. Trav and I are getting ready to go to the farmer's market. They have the best like vegan rosemary bread and lentil soup. It's so good. And we went there last, was it last weekend that we went there? Oh, that's right. I was going to say they already know that, but we put that on my channel. Yeah, that was on your channel. Um, so we went to the farmer's market last weekend with our friend Jessica and it was so good and so now we're gonna run there just really quickly to go get that bread and soup because that's how good it is and then we have to run a few more errands like go to the bank um, exchange some stuff at Macy's so that's what we're doing today oh I don't know if I told you guys but I auditioned for I don't think I told you guys on this channel but I auditioned for a movie um, it's just a small part in the indie film so like anything entertainment related is so fun for me so I auditioned for it because they had requested me to do an on-camera audition so I did and I got the part and I was like really excited I couldn't believe it so I'm really excited to actually go and film they've been filming the movie um, and so I fly into LA next week with Trav and I'm filming one day next week and then my next the next time I shoot for the movie is like not till the end of January so uh, it's only two days of shooting but they're not like back to back so I'm gonna be going flying back to LA to uh, work on that movie and I'm really excited about it and they're gonna let me vlog which is really cool so I'm excited about that and I'll take you guys behind the scenes and you guys can come with me so that will be really fun um, and then what else new is going on um, Oh, I had like an epiphany last night and uh, there was just like a lot of shit going on. You know what? I'm going to talk about all that later on tonight because um, that's like more like a deeper conversation I'm going to get into. So I'll fill you guys in on that in a little bit later. But right now we're just going to go run some errands and you guys are going to come with us. Um, getting our bread and our soup and I'm so excited you guys this stuff is so good all right you guys so we just ran a bunch of errands we just left Trader Joe's I actually went into this place right here it's called freestyle clothing exchange it's like a thrift store but not really they had it's like some new stuff some not so new stuff but you can also go there and like sell your clothes I've never sold my clothes there before God knows I should I have so much but Sometimes I like to just go in there and browse around and see like what they have. Um, they had some cute stuff, but I ended up getting anything because I don't really need anything except for really warm, thick leggings because it's very cold where we live. I get cold very easily and I don't have like, I've been having a hard time finding like super thick leggings that keep your legs really warm. So if you guys have any suggestions of really thick, warm leggings, please let me know. <laughs> um, in the comment section because I could really use some. Now we're gonna go to Michael's and we're gonna get something special there and I will show you guys what it is when we get home. All right, you guys, so we just got home. This was the pillow. I had to exchange this because my mom got me a pillow for Christmas and it was a little too hard so we went back to Macy's and got a softer one so I'm excited about that. Then we went to Michael's and got Travis a little dream goal book because I have one and he's gonna put his dreams and goals in here and I'm really proud of myself because this is originally $17 and I have an app on my phone, I'll show you guys. See this little app right here, it's a Michaels app and you get a 40% off coupon on like regular priced items. So I used that, originally the book was $16.99, we got $6.80 off and we only paid $11 for this like huge awesome book. And it's not leather, it's like, but it's still like a really heavy duty book. So stoked on that. And then you guys know we went to the farmer's market earlier and I've already eaten some of it, but we got a loaf of this vegan rosemary bread. This stuff is so good. We got two loaves of it. And then they also have this vegan lentil soup. It's like homemade, gluten-free, vegan, really good. So we got a few of those in there. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something so cool that I got. Okay, so there's this site called Home Dex. I'll link it down below. 
because you guys are probably going to want to see like this website because it's so cool. Check this out. So I'm addicted to hats. It's really hard to see this. Hold on. Let me see if I can open the window. There we go. It's a little better. You can see a little better. So um, it is a hat rack and it holds like 72 hats, which I think is so rad. And I have so many hats and I always forget like which ones I have and I don't like them getting ruined. So I absolutely love this hat rack. It's just kind of big. So I need to figure out like where I'm going to put it because <laughs> we don't have very much room in our little baby apartment, but I'm really excited about that. And then I don't know if I showed you guys, but we got one of these little racks too, to like help with more shelving space. I also got a new little table that we got off Amazon. Where is it? Right there. Um, for when I film like my get ready with me's and just like if I ever want to do like any makeup or beauty videos, um, I will use that table because I needed like a better thing. Everything that we were using was like really kind of ghetto. But this is our office. As you could see, it's kind of just like stuff everywhere as always. But we have tried to fix it up a little bit. Um, there's still a lot more like we want to do, but it's looking better. Uh, we just have so much stuff and it's hard to put like everything in such a small space. So we're just thinking of good organizing ideas and I'll probably do like a full video on how to like uh, be organized but have like a cool space to do like work or office or homework or whatever and uh, still be able to have a bunch of stuff and have it functional but also look good. So I'll be doing a video on that pretty soon. But um, I was so excited about this hat rack. Like how freaking cool is that? It's almost like it looks like something that would be like in a store, right? I don't know, I just thought it was so cool. So uh, I'll leave the link down below. I'm pretty sure it's homedex.com, but they have some really cool stuff on there. I'm probably gonna have to like get some more stuff, but I have to be quiet because Travis doesn't want me to. <laughs> Travis is like, we don't have room for this stuff, which he's right, we really don't. But like, I like to be organized and when stuff's like all over, like my hats, I had some in, um, in our office closet, I had some like in our hall closet, I had some in like my other hall closet and then in my um, cl regular closet and our bedroom, like they were everywhere, you guys. So it's nice to have them like all in one place and it just makes me really happy to look at. And eventually like, I'll probably like organize it a little bit better, but I kind of just threw all the stuff on there now and there's still more hats like in the garage. Oh my God, I forgot. I have more stuff. I have more hats in the garage. Travis can kill me. <laughs> Honey, can you hear me? Maybe he has his headphones on, thank God. So anyways, yeah, um, that's that. Oh, I wanted to talk about something serious. Okay, so I needed to, I needed to do kind of like an apology for my last video that I posted up on my vlogging channel. Um, this is something important I want to talk about, so hold on, let me put the camera down. Uh. Okay, so I'm like all bundled up because it was freezing outside. So like, okay. I've been going through a lot of stuff. Obviously, if you guys follow me, you know that. And, um, I was like not in a good space. And... Normally, I'm an extremely positive person, like very positive to where like sometimes people are just like, how are you so positive? And I'm just like, you know, it's just something that I practice and I do every day. And and it takes practice to like always be positive and continue to like make it like a habitual just lifestyle and way of being or way of thinking. And the past few months, um, I have to admit, you guys, like I really got off track with uh, with my like just vibes and energy and you know I was trying but like it really just kind of got the best of me and I wanted to talk about this one because um I feel like if it can happen to me it can happen to anybody and I feel like there's always going to be times when like you just feel like the whole world is crashing down on you and everything that can go wrong does and things that you never thought would happen to you happen to you and it can really fuck you up like emotionally and it's not healthy at all and it makes you do and say things and just like be a type of person that you're not and that's where I got to that place where I was just like whoa this is like not me I have changed like this used to be me and then like I changed and all of a sudden it like came back like when I was saying like crazy Shannon so I first I first just want to apologize for even putting that video out and I'm not going to take it down because um, I feel like I want people to learn from my mistakes and I want you to see the mistakes I've made. I want people to see like that I've made mistakes 
but then this is how I bounce back from them. And so I have, to, I have like come to the point in my life right now with the things that I'm going through where I have to, like the only way that I can truly be happy is if I forgive the people that have hurt me in my life. And that's a very hard thing to do extremely hard, especially because I have been hurt so badly by this person. Um, and not just one time, just over and over and over. And there's so many things that, that, that has been done. That's so unforgivable, like so unforgivable and not just to me, but my friends and my family as well. Um, and, and that's hard. That's a really fucking hard thing to do, to be like, you know what, I need to find it in my heart to forgive this person and move on so that I can be happy with my life. And well, I've decided, I actually decided this last night because I, I always tell everyone like, oh, if you're having a downtime, like watch The Secret, watch The Secret. I always tell everyone to do that. And then, you know, for me, you know, I'll go back and watch The Secret if I feel like I'm having a hard time. I was in such a shitty place that like, I, I didn't even find time to put the secret on. And so last night, like, you know, it just felt like the world was crashing down on me again. And I was like, you know what? I need to watch the secret. Like, I don't care what we're doing. We need to stop and we need to put this on. And Trav and I both watched it. And afterwards, I just like, I just knew in my heart that the right thing to do was to forgive that person. And I truly am sorry for like the things that I, the way that I was acting in my last video, because that's just not me. And, and, um, and that was wrong. And I don't want people to see that and think that it's okay to, to do those types of things because it's not, and it does not make me, did not make me look good. Um, and, and like I said, that's just, that's not the person I want to be. I've changed so much and I've worked so hard to change and be a better person. And I don't want anybody or anyone to, to ruin that for me. And I'm not going to allow other people to have the power to bring me down. And so in order for me to move on with my life and to be happy, I just need to internally forgive the people that have hurt me. And so that's what I did. And last night I... It was hard. <laughs> I'm not saying it was an easy thing to do because it's still something I'm working on each day, like every minute um, of where I'm just internally forgiving that person and, and just kn knowing that that's the only way that I can be happy is by forgiving and moving on with my life because I don't need that in my life. I don't need negativity. I'm doing a lot of amazing things in my life and I want to continue to do those things and I don't want anybody to get in the way of that and I'm the only person that has control um, of my own life and my own actions and how I feel you know nobody else can make me feel a certain way unless I let them and I'm not letting them anymore and so it stopped like it's it stopped there's no nothing that anybody can say or do that's going to affect me anymore because I just won't allow it. It's almost like having a negativity shield up, you know, like there's this shield and there's no nothing that's going to be able to come in because I'm not going to let it. It's like bulletproof. It's not going to get through. <laughs> um, and so uh, I'm going to ask you guys a favor for me. And if you guys see any negative stuff or whatever, anything put out about me that's negative, I'm gonna put um, a link below to my attorney, and you guys can just send that to her um, because I don't I don't want to see it anymore. I don't. I've seen it enough, and and every day it's something new, and it's just like, you know, it, it just gets to a point where it's like, we've we've had to defend ourselves and do all these things, and it's just like en enough is enough, you know, and like, um, and so I'm just done. I've forgiven this person and I'm moving on. And that doesn't mean that like lawsuits or um, any charges that have been pressed are going to stop. Like obviously those are still going to be taken care of and handled, but not by me, by the appropriate people. I just, I have done everything I need to do and I'm moving on with my life. Um, I have so many good things going on. I have an amazing husband. I'm, I'm trying to start a family. Um, I just put a new song out. I'm working on a movie next week. Like, 
you know, my YouTube channel is doing really well and growing and you guys are all so amazing and so supportive and it's just like I have so many great things in my life. I have amazing friends, a amazing family, um, you know, I'm not in debt, like, there's just so many, life is just too fucking good for me to be upset and life is too short for me to get upset over one person, you know what I mean? Or, or a few people that are like being negative towards me. So, or like saying things that are not true, you know, this, it's not, it just is not going to affect me anymore is basically what I'm trying to say. And so I, I wanted to apologize for my last video, um, because I said some things that I shouldn't have said and that were just mean and I'm not a mean girl and I don't want to be perceived that way. And so I, what I'm saying is what I did was wrong. I'm sorry. And, um, and I'm done with this and I, I don't want to deal with it anymore. And I'm not going to like, it stopped. I've, I've blocked these people. And the only way I'm seeing these things is because some of you guys send it to me, which I really appreciate it because you guys were helping me with, you know, cases we had going on. But from now on, like, don't send it to me, send it to the other people that are handling it for me, that I'm paying a lot of money to take care of this for me. Um, I would really appreciate that because, uh, because it's just putting me in such a negative place and, um, and I don't want to be there anymore. Like I just, I want to be, I want to continue to be happy and be positive and help other people that do go through rough times like this and show them how they can get out of it and how that they can be a better person. And instead of, you know, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm a victim. I'm a victim. Like people are bullying me and, and, you know, and I don't deserve this and this isn't right. Like I don't, I'm not a victim. I'm somebody that's been through some shit and so what? Everybody's been through shit. So there's some people that are going through way worse shit than we are. There's people being killed. There's, there's people that are dying of cancer. Like there are way more important things going on than the shit that I'm dealing with. Not saying it, that it's not important, that I'm not important, or the things that I deal with are not important. But what I'm saying is there are more important things, in my opinion, um, that I could be putting my time and energy towards for the greater good of society instead of, you know, letting somebody try to, you know, bring me down to wherever they are, which is not a place I wanna be, let me tell you. So that's what I wanted to say basically, that I was sorry and um, that, that I'm moving on and that I'm going to be on a happier path and not let, the shit that's been going on affect me because it's been going on for too long. So um, other parties involved, I'm not speaking for anybody except for myself. Um, this is just what I'm doing and, uh, and I don't care how much shit or lies or anything like negative that anybody else is going to say about me um, from here on out. Like, I don't give a shit. To me, they no longer exist and I've forgiven and mo moving on. So yeah, that was like a total long ass rant. Hopefully you're following me with this stuff and it's making sense to you. Um, I'm gonna go lay down on my heating pad, eat some lunch and I'll see you guys in a little bit.